Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. All right. Uh, Cheech with Fly Fish Fruit here. And uh, we've uh, we've got a cool fly for you. Um, I think everybody knows about Curtis's very stupid chimera pattern that I hate. So I've been working really hard to try to find a fly that's as good as that one. And uh, this one's been fishing really well for us. Anyway, it's a Calabeta soft hackle pattern. It's basically like a... Kind of like a hare's ear soft tackle, but uh, we've been fishing it as a calabatus and it's done really well. What I have in the vise is this jobber, 35085 fulling mill jobber. It's a nymph hook. Uh, it's a little bit longer shank, and uh, I think I put on a 2.8 millimeter copper bead. And I'll just be using a little bit of Uni uh, ADOT Camel on this one. So I'm going to start in front of the bead and uh, kind of create enough space to, to wrap a soft tackle there. And then I'm going to push the bead up and just go wrap my thread over the top of the bead. Whoops. And I'm going to just go back and forth on that just a few times just to kind of keep it in place. If you don't do that, a lot of times when you wrap your materials up to the bead, it will push the bead up to the eye of the hook. Anyway, uh, real simple pattern, and it uses partridge for both the, the tail and for the soft tackle. So I've pre-selected, this is a longer partridge uh, fiber, and I'm using the full pelt. We have uh, the, the Nature Spirit Partridge pelts, which are probably some of the best that I've seen. And uh, so that's really the best way to get, you know, good quality usable feathers, especially if you're going to be winding soft tackles. So I'm just going to grab, you know, a few fibers, about that many, and pull them off the stem of the hook, or off the stem of the, the feather. And I'll tie those in maybe a little bit shorter than the shank of this hook. about like that and I'll wrap those all forward and uh, the next thing is just to add ribbing I'm just going to use some copper um, UTC small wire Curtis's greasy fingers have wiped all the lettering off of this but it is small And as you see me lay this in, I'm not going to tie it in right here at the back. I'm going to just lay the copper all the way up to the bead and uh, catch it there. And then the body on this, I've, I found that just this Nature Spirit Snowshoe Rabbit Foot dubbing um, is really, really good. And I just like the natural color. Uh, well, natural is called hair's ear in this, so the hair's ear color. So, just dub some on. The idea is you're going to make just a tapered abdomen on this bad boy. And you want it to be kind of buggy. So you can see how that tapers up just a, just a little bit. And I leave a little bit of room behind the bead because we're going to put in kind of an accent dub. So I'll just uh, wrap my copper wire. You don't need to counter wrap this because you're not trapping down fibers like a pheasant tail. I guess you could counter wrap it if you wanted. And I'll just helicopter that off. There's a lot of helicoptering. Okay, now I'm going to use just brown ice dub. Brown, I guess it's brown UV. But this is it. You can see that, it, you know, the, the focus is a little crazy on this. But it's got little purplish speckle speckle going on in there. So you can brush it out and make a little veil. So I just put on enough to, to fill the gap. 
right here. That's a little bit too much, so I'm going to take some off. She's got dubbing all over my hook or my thread. And I'm just going to take the, the Stonfo tool and brush that out just a little bit. So that's going to just pull that little tiny bit of flash over the fly. And it swims really well in still water. Okay, now I'm just going to take my thread up over. And I've got, where did my feather go? I've selected just a partridge feather. And, uh, you know, this is going to be kind of a swimmy fly. So if you pull the fibers kind of perpendicular to the the hook shank, you can see how, how long those are in comparison to the body. So, you know, the, the hook fi or the, the feather fibers are about the same length as the body, but there's really no exact science to it. So I'm going to prepare this feather by removing the fluff and then I'm going to tie it in by the tip. So Curtis was nice enough to let me borrow one of his CNF hackle pliers, which he will not let anybody touch. So if I just grab that by the tip and then preen the fibers down, I create that nice little tie-in point. So I'm actually going to pre-trim this. Got a little triangle there that I'm going to tie in. So I've got my feather tied in. And now I will just wrap that kind of by folding those fibers back. If you have a few that stick out, that's fine because we're just going to wrap back over this head. Try to break it, but it won't work. Sorry about going all fingers there. So, not the cleanest partridge job right now, but that's fine. I'm just going to pull these fibers back. And create a nice little neat head. Just like that. I have one little, that's the stem that's sticking out there. Anyway, that's basically it. You know, I, I could have used a little bit more dubbing underneath where that bead is, but the, the slimmer this fly is, the better. Um, so anyway, it's just a, you know, Calabatus soft tackle, pretty simple. And I'll throw just a, a quick, quick whip finish on there. And, uh, forgot to bring the head cement to the shop, but you'll want to put some of that on there too. But anyway, that's the fly. Um, it was so good this summer, and I don't want to hype it up too much, but I ended up just fishing two of them at the same time. But that's it, the Calabatus soft hackle.